Hello guys, my name is Coach Shadogs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a next five years video. I can't believe we haven't done these for such a long time. Now, shout out goes to Thomas Rosie Fan 2 for suggesting this particular one. This is from Six Flags St. Louis. This is the next five years, so of course, like the rest of them, we're gonna be looking at the last ten years, because of course we're in 2020. And uh, after looking at the last decade, we're going to look at the next five years. And then in five years' time, when we do these videos again, we're going to look at um, basically what they could have had, what basically what they added in the five years that we predicted, and if we got it right or wrong or not, or half right or half wrong, um, and predict the next five years from 2026 to 2030 from there. Uh, and then the same pattern for the next decade and so forth. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click OK spell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, before we look into my next five years predictions for Six Flags St. Louis, we have to look at the last ten years of the park. So, in 2010, there were no new recorded attractions. However, in 2011, they brought in the Sky Screamer at the time of the park's anniversary. In 2012, the Bonsai Pipeline was introduced from ProSide Technologies as the Superloop model. In 2013, Six Flags Over Texas sent the Boomerang over, which replaced the Water Street Cab Company, which is a solid bumper cars attraction, which operated in the park between 1973 and 2012. In 2014, replacing the old Intamin Drunken Barrels attraction Powder Keg, which operated between 1996 and 2013, they added Tsunami Soaker and they also added that to Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, believe it or not, at the same year. In 2015, they brought in Justice League Bout for Metropolis, which is an interactive shooting dart ride from Sally Co., uh, replacing the old Sally Corporation family dart ride, Scooby-Doo Ghost Blasters, The Mystery of Scary Swamp, which operated between 2002 and 2014. Now, between 1987 and 2015, the park had a chance falling star attraction called the Rush Street Flyer, which was replaced for the 2016 season by the Lost in Superloop, The Fireball. They also brought in, in 2017 Spin Sanity, which is a Zamperla disco attraction. In 2018, the Typhoon Twister came into the Hurricane Harbor Water Park to replace the Speed Slides Complex, which operated between 1999 and 2017. In 2019, the Supergirl Skyfly was introduced, the Zamperla Endeavor, to replace the Schwarzkopf Enterprise attraction, Highland Fling, which operated between 1977 and 2017. And then in 2020, we were going to get Catwoman Whip, uh, which is the Funtime Booster attraction, uh, replacing the old um, Go-Karts attraction at the park. However, that was brought down to the next year onwards due to COVID-19. So that right there was the last 10 years, and you'll notice something very interesting. One coaster, and it was even relocated. So the next sort of uh, new coaster, I believe, was the American Thunder, which is, I, I believe that's technically a clone of uh, Thunderhead, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so the next coaster after that, I mean, it goes back to as far as the boss, if I'm not careful, uh, which was 2000, I believe. So, you know, this is a long history with St. Louis without a coaster. However, in the next five years, I do think that a coaster is coming soon. So watch out for where it is and you'll kind of have an idea. Uh, but since we looked at the last 10 years, a lot of stuff in there, a lot of stuff for the water park, a couple of flat rides in there, uh, a dart ride in there, a relocated coaster... Um, and of course there's two years with no real new attractions 2010 that was the last year of the uh, American Thunder I believe when it was known as Evil Knievel and um, of course 2020 with the whole COVID-19 thing delaying the 2020 attractions 2021 so that one's going to be an easy prediction but uh, two years without an attraction one I don't know why and one for COVID so very interesting history there but Forget about the history, let's go to the future, let's have a look at the next five years I'm predicting for Six Flags St. Louis, if I was to run the park. So as per usual, these are realistic predictions. And starting off in 2021 with our 2020 delayed attraction, this is the Catwoman Whip, the fun time booster replace the old go-karts ride. Uh, delay from 2020 due to COVID-19. Very easy to predict this one, of course. These look fun, don't they? These fun little, like carnival rides. Some say a little bit carnival rides, but I kind of see them as just fun flat rides, really. 
Um, so very good addition all around. But then in 2022, I am looking towards Rocky Mountain Construction to see what's going to happen next. Now, uh, I do have up there the type of coaster that I think it will be. But there are some other options that it could potentially be as a bonus. Now, 2022, I think the Tidal Wave site is... It's going to get replaced by a brand new coaster. I'm thinking RMC Raptor. However, they could go down what was rumoured for, for next year. But of course, I think it could be pushed back to 2022. And that is either um, a Premier Rides Coaster project or an SNS follow-up to Max Force. Now, like I said before in past videos on Six Flags Theme Parks, Magic Mountain and I think America and St. Louis are going to be the parts getting coasters next. So... I reckon it's 2022 that St. Louis will get the coaster. I think America could m maybe wait a, a year or two more. Um, now, thinking about it with the electrical work, so I do think that uh, maybe there's a little bit of a twist in the making here with the next coaster at Six Flags. So, uh, from scratch, of course. So, I think the St. Louis will be one of them. I think an RMC Raptor will be very likely. However, I'm not going to rule out an SNS like Max Force. Or a Premier Rides, like a West Coast Racers, or even one of the Sky Rocket 2 models. Um, even though they're not on the slide in front of you right now. So, they're kind of like bonus options, like bonus off-screen options, we say. Moving on to 2023, and this is a very easy one for me. I think they need some kids' rides, because one thing I really noticed, they had some family thrill rides, like the Sky Screamer, technically. Uh, is a kind of like a family thrill ride. It's not the most extreme flat ride in the world. It is kind of thrill. It's really thrilling, but um, you know, it's not the most extreme flat ride in the world. Again, Spin Sanity, very much a family thrill ride with the, with the disco model, uh, and the Stupid Girl Sky Flyer. Again, another, another family kind of ride, thrill ride. Um, but we haven't got a proper kids ride in the last ten years, and this is where it will change. I think they're going to rip out a couple of kids rides and bring in a couple of new ones as part of a brand new rethink to turn Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boomtown. That's the more modern version of these Looney Tunes areas at the Six Flags theme park. So uh, I definitely think that this could be the case in 2023. I think they're going to focus on the families in that particular year. And uh, we could be looking there at you know something that's going to be you know, very, very interesting to see what happens. I think that rip, rip out a couple of rides, maybe bring in a kid's coaster if you wanted to, but probably not. I think they'll bring in like a couple of kid's rides here and there. Maybe a Paralos and Flying Scooters. Maybe that would be a nice addition. Um, but I think Bugs Bunny Boomtown re-theme from Bugs Bunny National Park into Bugs Bunny Boomtown would be the most likely option to go with here. I don't think they'll turn it into DC Super Friends. I think it's more like the Bugs Bunny Boomtown because... You know, it's easier to retheme a Bugs Bunny National Park into a Bugs Bunny Boomtown rather than retheming a Bugs Bunny National Park into a DC Super Friends. It, there's no real connection. So I think it will be a, a Boomtown retheme. Uh, and I think it'd be a great fit for families and a good refreshed lineup for the family market. 2024. Now, this one's a good one because I'm looking at this and saying, well, hang on a minute. The tornado slide. Now, that might be a popular one, but I think they can do a whole lot better than that. And I see this as being the perfect opportunity to add one of the water coasters. Now, we've seen a couple of these added before. Uh, there's one added to Fiesta Texas back in 2017 as Tsunami Surge. There's one coming to Six Flags Great America, delayed from this year, going next year. And there's also one going to another Hurricane Harbor water park, which is known as Python's Plunge. So, I reckon they're going to go with either the name Tsunami Surge or the Python's Plunge for the same model. So I think we're looking at one of these launched water coasters on the Tornado site in Hurricane Harbor for 2024. And of course, this means looking at the last uh, Hurricane Harbor edition, 2018 with the Typhoon Twister. So I think it's gonna be, you know, six years until uh, after, well, six years after that was introduced. So we're looking at that and thinking, well, that's the perfect time to fill the gap now in the Hurricane Harbor market. And I think that a proper water coaster in the water park would be perfect for the for the for, for the Hurricane Harbor, uh, and I think that the Tornado site is the perfect kind of land to do it. I mean, as you can see on your screen, you can have the, all that space in the world to work with, as well as the Tornado site itself. So I think you've got a, a good site to work with there, a good or outstretched site to work with. And finally, in 2025, I am predicting that Dragon's Wing, the Sky Coaster in the park, will be next to go. And that'll be the end of 2024, and I think it will be for a brand new Giant or Giga Discovery Flat Ride. Now, um, you guys are probably sitting there thinking, well, why Why would you go with a Zampella Giant and Giga Discovery? Uh, and of course, there are certain factors for and against. 
uh, possibly doing this particular edition. I know that people will have their doubts, people will have their uh, sort of thinking process behind potentially adding this particular attraction. Um, I mean, first of all, looking at the site without discussing why a Giga Discovery, um, you've got to look at the site itself and think, well, hang on a minute, I think that's a big site, so I think that could be filled. I mean, you've got to look at what uh, Six Flags America did with their uh, their Sky Coaster. So they took that out and brought in Harley Quinn's Insanity. So that might not be the Giga Discovery, but it is still a, um, you know, it's, it's still something that is this also got a sky coaster for a giant discovery so you know very very good there and you're probably thinking well hang on a minute they've got something similar to that what about excalibur well i don't think it's a crime to have a giga discovery or a giant discovery in the same park as one of the excalibur rides the evolution ride and i think we have one of these excalibur 2 at the old camelot um <laughs> uh but you know, I don't think it's a crime. I don't think it's anything different. So I think that, well, I, well, I, I, I digress. I think it is different. But I mean, what I mean is, I think it's, it's different because Excalibur is a full 360 degree looping uh, frisbee. This is just a high swinging frisbee. This is the modern day frisbee attraction. I think you, there's parks out there that have had m like more than two of the same mo or two or more of the same model, uh, or similar models, or some kind of diff. Or, a couple of differences between the models so you know it's not a, a crime but i think that it's definitely possible i think that even though i haven't got it up there if it's not going to be one of those giant or giga discoveries maybe you go with something else maybe that site could be good for i don't know maybe a compact coaster like a free spin <laughs> i'm joking of course um but i think that a free spin would be good for the park in the future uh, but look on the basis of it i really do think um you know, a giant discovery is probably the perfect fit for that particular site because you've got to look at that and say, well, it's a big sky coaster. You could fit it with a big swing ride. And I think that it wouldn't really make Excalibur obsolete. I think it gives it two completely different experiences because Excalibur, you feel like you have, you have the feeling of being spun 360 degrees upside down. On the giant discovery, you don't. And it just gives off a massive amount of airtime at that, at, at, you know, at meters above the air. So I think that it comes close to going upside down. It comes close with the angles of the swing. But with Excalibur, you have the experience of being 360 degrees spun round, upside down, 360 degrees around and around vertically as well. So it gives off two completely different experiences. And that's why I think that would help in terms of getting a giant discovery within the theme park without having to terror excalibur so there we go that is my predictions for the next five years you've got a coaster in there you've got a water slide you've got some kids attractions you've got a delayed flat ride and you've got another flat ride at the end of those five years predictions so uh it will be interesting to see which ones i get right catwoman whip i pretty much have got right because that's been delayed anyway uh so that's already a tick you know on my uh, on my predictions bucket list <laughs> um toys way two remains to be seen what happens with that 2023 2024 2025 again you'll have to see what happens with that but i cannot wait to see what is going to happen so thank you so so much for watching this next five years i can't wait to pre-record more of them um we will be doing some more of the six flags parks the cedar fair parks any other parks that you can suggest that we haven't done already comment down below and i will get those videos done and pre-recorded for your viewing pleasure uh, on any given day and for now guys thank you so so much for watching this video go and watch the updates we've done today from f telling the london resort and six Flags discovery kingdom and for now guys my name is coach shall coop living the coast of life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome coastatastic day